how do you think it is that I feel that Google for years has been pushing only YouTube, which shuts out the, the small guy, the server guy running a small server. How can I compete with YouTube? Now, I heard that you threatened to sue Schoolboy, though. Oh, no, sorry. I shouldn't say Schoolboy. Alex. No, I Schoolboy, Alex, YouTube, and Google. Okay. okay. So when you were number one on Google search result for arm wrestling, you were perfectly okay with that. And now you are going to sue Google and YouTube because they promoted YouTube and Schoolboy's channel and not your website and you cannot compete with them anymore. Welcome guys, I'm Pradeep from Arm Wrestling Noobs. Today we are going to talk about Gary Roberts. So let's get started. Now how all of this is started. According to Gary, it is started way back in 2016 when a schoolboy who was a 15, maybe 16 year old kid who did not know English, who had less than 10,000 subscribers, but somehow he was smart enough to know that writing ARM TV on his channel's logo instead of ARM Wrestling TV would be a great marketing strategy to drive Gary's ARM TV traffic to his channel. Come on Gary, I told you in my last video that it was Alex, not Schoolboy. Devon interrupted you two times that don't say it is Schoolboy cause you know it's Alex. But you won't listen to him and you won't stop taking his name. Why? Maybe because his name gives you views. See, you were blaming him to use your name but just because of the time when you brought all of this up, it seems that it is actually the other way around. So basically, at that time he was away from the sport, he left his baby in Bill Collins' arms and now he's mad at Bill Collins because he did not take care of his baby and the baby got abused by schoolboy. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, Gary Roberts calls his arm TV brand his baby, the same baby that he didn't care about for 5 years. Gary's whining versus the arm wrestling world. So I uploaded this video on Facebook group arm wrestling discussion and reddit group called arm wrestling. And as soon as I pressed the post button, bam, there comes Gary's comment complaining again without even watching the video. In the video, I said that it is okay to create a YouTube channel by any name. There is no YouTube policy that prevents you from doing that, even if the channel name is already taken. To prove that, I got in contact with YouTube creator support and they verified this information. Then I posted this photo from the YouTube chat support into the group. So as expected, he went after me and created a YouTube channel with my exact same name, Arm Wrestling Noobs and the same logo and asked me how I feel now. Really Gary, you actually have time for all of this bullshit? And when I said that I'm totally okay with it, he was pissed even more. It actually made me feel good about myself that Gary is copying my channel. Then he said that Arm TV is his trademark and it is trademark infringement whatever schoolboy or Alex did. I then went on with my search just like a normal person should do and this is what I found. Gary applied for a federal trademark on 22nd July 2020. Man, it is not even approved yet. Your application is still pending. You applied a couple of months ago and said that a schoolboy violated your trademark in 2016. Really Gary? And when people found out that he is lying about the trademark, he started saying that he does not have a federal trademark, but he said that he actually has a common law trademark. These are two different things, Gary. There's the facts right there that you don't have any valid point to initiate legal action on Alex. And that's why you brought all of this tantrum on YouTube, Facebook, Reddit. And if you don't understand Gary's emotion, like the way he thinks that you should understand them, then according to him, you are a worthless piece of shit, you are a dick and you need to fuck yourself. And you need to fuck yourself. Since he started abusing people online who had nothing to do with this, 
the arm wrestling community backfired on him and trust me Gary, you did not get anything that you didn't deserve. I am still a fan of your content and I will watch anything and everything that you upload but not a fan of your personality anymore man. Opop123 says, why are you making such a drama out of it? Dave Sketches says a schoolboy did not take any business away from you. It is arguably the other way around. You are doing more harm to your brand than good. I agree 100% with you Dave. That's what I'm trying to tell him. Woolite says a couple of interesting things. Actually, he says three of them. Bill did not stop Alex. Maybe because it did not matter to him. Arm TV is a shorter than arm wrestling TV. It is actually a short form and it is better to have shorter name on the logo because it's freaking small. The logo is very small, isn't it Gary? Nobody ever called Alex's channel Arm TV. Absolute truth, you are a very smart guy, Volite Mammoth. Nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. So the backstory behind this is that after Devon tried to calm this dude for 30 minutes straight, he uploads a video shouting at his subscribers saying that if you guys keep on acting like nothing happened, I will keep shouting and crying like this. My friend Imran, he always has something interesting to say. He's trying to calm Gary down, saying, Have fun, God bless you, good effort Imran, but it did not work. Mr. N says that you failed to file for a trademark until recently and you have nothing on Alex. Screenshot this. I never noticed Arm TV, nobody cares about the name. Content matters. Gary said he will riot on the streets if people did not support him. Ron says, if it was your baby, you should have stuck with it. Absolutely right, Ron. Edgar says, you chose the wrong time, Gary. Finn, your baby slept for five years and you didn't care. Timmy says, he does not even own the armbat name. Why is Devon talking to Gary? Man, people are getting mad at Devon just for talking with you. So, you are thinking they got all the views because of the logo? Now, but more noticeable people in the arm wrestling community are trying to advise Gary. Devon asked Gary if he has called Alex yet. Gary has not ever called Alex in 4 years. He also says that find a mutual benefit. If they used your name then it is actually good for you. Because they have the biggest arm wrestling channel in the world. So eventually the audience may come back to you and support you. Ryan SP no one ever thought arm wrestling tv was arm tv you also copied mtv's i want my mtv tagline and changed it to i want my arm tv so i did not know about this so i looked up and this is what i found so gary just added the alphabets a and r before mtv you are a genius gary should they sue you now adam silvers from strengthnet if you don't know this guy Adam, he is the guy with Larry, helping Larry out with all his filming, editing and shooting all of his videos, everything. Gary wants to make a comeback now when Alex is extremely popular. If he was raped, he should have complained earlier. Now, what does Alex and or schoolboy has to say about all of this? So according to Alex, Gary did not call him, he did not DM him. And he did not email him. Gary said that he left a message on one of his videos. A comment on one of his videos. And that's not the way that you communicate business wise these days. Totally agreed Alex. That's why YouTube gives that option that says email for business inquiries. Even I know about this. However, I do not agree with this comment of yours. Never let a non arm wrestler rule the arm wrestling community, he will ruin it. First of all, he arm wrestles a lot. He's just not very good at it. And he was not trying to rule the community. And even if he did, I don't think it should be a matter of concern as long as he's doing something good for us. Now, my questions and my advice to Gary. Number one, if arm TV was your baby, then how is Bill Collins responsible for not taking care of that? 
because you signed a 50% partnership agreement with him when actually you're the one who abandoned your baby so Collins is right he should sue you you did not have any federal trademark in 2016 why did you lie about it you had nothing on arm wrestling tv back then number three what were you trying to prove when you copied my channel with the same logo with the same name if you were raped how can you forget about it i felt like i was raped i honestly that's how i felt like a raping sadly you know i had to go back to my life and i kind of forgot about it and now like they're this huge popular people well maybe because they were not famous and now when they are famous you suddenly remember that you were raped why you continue to say schoolboy when it is actually alex to me it's clearly because you wanted to capitalize on schoolboy's fame to get the views some of the things that you have said in the past proves my point you said to travis that you would create anything into youtube content to get the views and you told devon that you had many videos planned on this topic about schoolboy this whole controversy that is going on so it is quite clear that you are doing all of this just because you want to get the views dude you're wrecking my whole plans devon i had a series <laughs> of videos that i was gonna do until i got a public apology i was gonna Whoa. put schoolboy's face on my little dartboard and make little dolls and put little holes in it. and i was gonna make little funny videos and you're my number one advice to you gary if you are doing this for views find a better way devon explained this to you a little bit when he talked about arm bet and arm bets let me extend that conversation further you must watch ifbb pro greg dusset's channel hell i saw him growing from 100000 subscribers to 700000 within a matter of months and all he does is complain about others scott herman and Greg Doucette both made a video about how to beast TRT transformation and guess what Greg got all the likes and Herman was bashed just like you he got all the dislikes because he does not know how to do it and if you are not doing it for the views then you should go see a therapist nah man just kidding all you need to do is some yoga and some pranayam 30 minutes a day deep breathing trust me it works gary and finally stop getting into online battles and stop abusing people in the comment section you want to fight go to a court or get in the ring these are the only two ways to do it i've said this many times and i'll say it again no one can replicate your hard work in this sport publish your content in an organized manner and people will start respecting you again Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If I missed anything that you would like to add to this conversation, do it in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do it now. Arm Wrestling Noob, signing out.